Yo, what is up gamers? Today we're playing something super unique. Look at me. I am the knight from the mausoleum, but I'm actually just the forgotten. This is a super high quality re-sprite of the forgotten to make me into the mausoleum knight. Even the soul has its own unique sprite. And apparently everything has been re-sprited all the way up until even the transformations. I took a quick glance at the Steam Workshop page and all of the PNGs that were created for every single sprite looked incredible. And I want to play around with them and come across maybe as many as we can find. It'll also give us a good opportunity to play the Forgotten, use some specific Forgotten tech like this flight mode right here. We don't get to use it too often and that's really fun. And if we're lucky, we can come across maybe some brimstone horns and the like. And whatever we don't come across, I'll be sure to highlight for you guys so you get the best of everything. So let's see here. What are we going to start off with? What is going to be the tone of the run? Grand reveal, a D20. Not what I was expecting, but also very welcome. We can use this to our advantage. Maybe take it all the way to the end of the game, start rerolling, get a bunch of chests, and that's how we get a bunch of items, potentially. Uh, we do have a two of clubs available. I'm thinking of popping it right now to get a guaranteed secret room, but that's assuming the secret room is even guaranteed. It's looking like here, but this is a bit of a, like, a random- Oh, no, I got it. It's okay. We get a chest. Oh, my goodness. That was actually mega worth. That lets us go to the shop, and then the shop provides us a birthright. What the hell? That looks really cool actually. And considering the fact that this is a uh, kind of us looking at some unique sprites today while playing the Forgotten, the ability to remove the chain and just go freely without doing anything whatsoever, no bounds, no chains, I'm not held back by anything. Uh, this is perfect. This is awesome. Also, you can see the boss sprites are also completely revamped. Basically everything as far as I can tell is completely new. This is sick. Interesting fact, if you didn't know, uh, the Forgotten's body when you leave it behind actually does attract tears. So you can see right here, they're all getting mad magnetized into the body. It kind of incentivizes you to go soul mode and use it as a bit of a blocking shield moment. In case you're struggling with any kind of forgotten run, you can use that to your advantage. Tropigamide. It's kind of a whatever item, but I'll take it. Sure. It definitely made my eyes wide as hell. And then we'll go downpour because we do want as many items as possible. All right, downpour uno. We got another shop. You know, I'm down to just go in here as well. Uh, though, hmm. A little disappointing, but considering it's on sale, I actually think this is worth. It gives you five bombs on pickup, so it's like, why would you not, you know? Seven cents for uh, five bombs is basically bargain bin level of, like, absolute steel. Considering bombs are usually, like, five cents, why would you not just take that? It's just disappointing because it's not immediate value, like, on my screen that I can see. But still worth absolutely. Let's go find that treasure room as well. Oh, hey, look, it only took like two seconds. I didn't even need a cut, did I? <laughs> okay, well, what's in here instead? Isaac's Tears. Okay, a ton of active items. There's only so many times I can cope. You're gonna need to give me a passive. Oh, wow. That's that good stuff. You can even see it works with the soul as well. I love that. Who gives us luck down? That kind of sucks. Oh, well, we do want as much luck as possible, especially with the tough love. Of course, those two go hand in hand, so I don't know if I'm gonna be getting any kind of perfection anytime soon, but any kind of luck ups will be very much appreciated. Curse Room has anything for us? Oh, whoopsies, I forgot I can't do that. <laughs> Triple Soul Heart, maybe a TP? No, just Super Troll Bombs all around. That's still really good. Let's TP back and go fight the boss. But before I do that, I'm thinking the Secret Room's right in here. And just three cents overall, nice. Now do not let the Tropicamide trick you. Everyone has had this issue before, whether it's been outspoken or not. Trust me, I know the pain of seeing that your tears are really large as if you had just picked up Sty or something. Uh, but you're actually not doing extra damage. Tropicamide is a troll like that. I know, I get it, it's very unsatisfying. Just don't get tricked. We actually do have base damage right now, other than tough love. So these fights are not gonna be incredibly easy. As long as we lock in though, it should be alright. There you go, triple whack into booster pack. I'd like to check out the devil room just for the potential of a brimstone. That would be so nice for us. Ooh, we got a moon, a sun, a spades. Okay, take the sun card with us. And do we want to commit to any of these? I'm thinking death's list is actually like really good for us. Unironically. Yeah, and we could even steal demon baby if we wanted for the time being. Um, yeah, let's do it. I think that's fine enough and we'll go down. Death List, I'm gonna say, is an underrated hero as hell. 
This thing gives you so much value, if, as long as you just like go out of your way to take advantage of it. You can get extra pickups, extra stats, I've gotten damage ups from this thing, it's a little absurd honestly. It doesn't even take that much to really like use, I mean there's some rooms like this one where it seems basically impossible to use. But other rooms it's basically, you know, straight up free to do. Like right here, why don't I just wait just like two extra seconds, oh my god, Never mind. this item freaking sucks. <laughs> Hella money today, petrified poop popping off what's in here. Mom's box. Almost tempting. I'm gonna run with it for the rest of the floor. If I get a good trinket, then we'll stick with it. If I don't, I'll keep the D20 on me. I think D20 has way more potential, but Mom's box, with the extra luck up it provides, really can be good for us. It just depends on if it pays out soon enough. Treasure room in here. Fortune cookie. Well, yeah, please stop giving me freaking active items. Thank you. Boom, and then boom, and then our reward is an extra pill, which is... Yeah! The big one! <laughs> also, there's a common misconception that I like to clear up. You cannot go in here as the forgotten soul. I don't know where that rumor popped off. I mean, I, I guess it makes sense you're the soul. In theory, you should be able to go in there, but that's not a thing you can do. You have to go ghost mode in order to go in there. Before we do that, though, let's pop this again. Jawbreaker! Okay. I've never really considered the possibility of both Tough Love and Jawbreaker on the same run. Like, what does that mean? Are they two different like separate procs so i just get a higher chance of tough love in general we can see pop this one door stop uh that one's that one's all right let's take care of turlet really fast uh range up is great as forgotten and i'm gonna i'm gonna run with the jawbreaker for the mirror dimension let's just see how it feels you know mom's box didn't really provide anything for jawbreaker other than the luck up it provides by natural but maybe the damage i'm getting from it will just feel nice to use Oh, you know what? I can do this as well. Just scam my way into here and get a damage up. Because the soul is crazy like that. I could even steal my way out. In case things get really bad, uh, I'll just press control and TP out if I get like hit by my mental moment. But maybe he didn't account for the fact that we are gamers in this household and I earned that scent. Moon card here and straight away to the boss. Looking mighty fine. I do not know what those enemies are called. The ones that take hella long to die and are really annoying. But today I have absolutely learned that they work incredibly terrible. With specifically death list. Like it is not a good synergy. So I'll know that from now on. We'll take the screw which is finally a bit of statistics up. And we'll go to the next floor. That's crazy. You know what <laughs> dude. <laughs> I just had a mental awakening, guys. You hear the downpour song? You know, like, okay, uh, okay, listen, listen, listen. You know the, 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 the meme sound where people are like, when, when something is like stinky or something? You know how Dross is supposed to be like this stinky downpour? Have you heard the sound? Listen, listen. Do you hear it? It's right there, the, the, the sound. Hold on, one more time. I can't believe it, my mind has been blown on this day, I will never recover. Okay, on to Caves Dose, hoping that maybe we can finally cook with a bit more death list than we were prior. There you go, immediately we're on a better track and we get a nickel from it? Thank you, much better. Hey, we even get a second one over right away and it gives us a soul heart. Okay, so just keep in mind, I guess downpours is a terrible floor for specifically anything to do with a death list. But now we are chilling. Give me this because I want my soul heart. This is probably my secret room. I'd be lucky if it is. Nice, we get a boss challenge room from this. I don't even need to use the moon card on this floor. And we get HP from the dinner. That's also really good for us. The more sustain, the better. And we did get a lot of stats from the last floor. So I'm chilling. You know, the Forgotten does so much damage naturally. It really is kind of more necessary that you just stack up on health early on, I think. Judgment. Oh wow, that's crazy. Okay, well give me the credit card, and then will you give me something good? Another reverse? Temperance? Okay, well we stock sick. I'll use the temperance for fun. Speed! Pheromones! Tears down! Yikes! Telepills! And a speed up again. Well, I'll say goodbye to the moon card then, uh, and just run with this. Let's try our best to collect all the good pickups here, aka the bombs and the high valley coins. Let's roll that with the d20. It's gonna be minor, but it's at least something we can do with it, you know? 
Oh, nice. And damage up from this list. Thank you. That's what I'm saying, man. Sometimes the thing just pops off like crazy. This is an even better use of D20. So let's do it here. We get a battery. Do I do it again? High Priestess. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do a bit of min-max here. I'll take these coins instead because I'm not going to use them. I'll take the cards and plop them in there. And then we'll start re-rolling this area just for fun. It's not going to be crazy. We're not going to get anything too good. But you never know. We have a pretty high deal chance here. I'm hoping for like a mega deal, honestly. I have a feeling... This this one will cook for us. Maybe I'm coping or maybe I'm on to something. Let's find out. Do you have the mega deal of my dreams? It's potential. It's here. Magic 8 ball for planetarium. A bit late, but might as well. And devil. Oh, that is pretty good. Don't mind if I do. Also golden bombs. Smart thing to do is take these both with the soul specifically. And then we can move on. Dude, our night guy is looking dope as ever. You can take the death card, plop this in the shop and continue to reroll. Once again, high value coins are a priority and then just hit it again. We are actually just straight up breaking the game. <laughs> I'm realizing this is the case now. I mean, we got charged keys everywhere for, for some reason. Okay, sick. Do it again. Eternal hearts, more chests. Don't mind if I do. Another roll, more golden chests. These are the stuff we want. We have golden keys on the floor. So yeah, wow. Okay, okay. That is awesome. Uh, I'll take that quarter later on. We still got more floor to do at least. But when the time comes, we will absolutely take advantage of it. Sigil of Baphomet is a carry item. So I can't believe it gave me this. And I cannot believe the amount of pickups I am being given today. Charged key again? What? What is happening? Uh, Minecrafter kind of sucks booty though. So I don't know. It seems like today is less about the items and more about the rig. I don't know why the game is leading me in this direction. Is it testing my rig potential? Does it think I can do it? I guess I'll, I, you know, I'll take the bait. You want me to press spacebar 10 times over and over again until I get what I want via the D20? I'll, yeah, I'll do it. It's cool. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I perfectly like did that. That was borderline pixel perfect. Holy. That's a dice shard. <laughs> Okay, all right. Uh, let me see how many rooms we have left. It's gonna really determine what we're gonna do next here. If I have four rooms left, I do not. Then I would have taken the battery and done the rest. Instead, it's looking like I probably need to take the charged key to get one last roll out. And then we'll dice shard and then we'll leave. I don't even care about the credit card anymore. I thought that was like the rigging god item. But uh, as it stands, I, I just, I don't care. <laughs> Another roll. We get wooden chest. And a soul of cane. Jesus, okay. All this stuff we don't know these pills i just want to know oh my god <laughs> all right okay all right hold on, hold on. let's let's drop this outside here it's been a while since i've done a d20 thing huh I, I bet you guys have been missing something like this before uh let me determine where that ultra secret could probably be this place has the most mathematical best guess uh it doesn't seem like i was lucky that's fine though you know it happens it's probably next to the boss challenge room oh freaking well um i don't really care about the slots then let's roll. We get a mega battery? Why? <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm just confused. It was as well. It's really good for us. What was all the crawl space? Dude, I have never maximized a cave's dose harder than I have today. Little dumpy? And a damage up from the death list. If the grand reveal for like what the grand prize for this floor was little dumpy, I'm honestly happy. Like that's crazy good. More rolls just because we can. Doesn't look like we got another 48 hour energy. That would have been a little too insane, honestly. Another one. There's a there's another 48 hour. <laughs> What's probably going to be our last reroll, unless I somehow get even luck here. Doesn't seem like that's the case, and that's fine. Okay, well then let's let's pick up what we got. I can't believe it. I'm actually gonna save my dice shard right now. I'll pick up the quarter even though it's useless. We get a tears up as well. We'll save the dice shard for when we could probably do this on like the chest or dark room and push it even further. No reason to blow it on like a quarter on a shop. Like that's that's nothing, you know. We can go way further. D20, my beloved. And people wonder why this is an unlock like dude and do you know how crazy this item is if you just put a little bit of work into it it's borderline unfair you know when i booted up today and i said oh hell yeah forgotten run that's gamer as hell i did not exactly expect uh the breaking d20 run but i'm all here for it we get dead onion this is not too good for the forgotten but for the spiritual version of me it's uh very very nice i'm gonna blow up this beggar i just want that extra deal chance nothing else i know it's kind of brutal but it is what it is 
We have a ton of luck based items, not the best luck ever, but considering you have so many procs for different effects, uh, it's actually working out just as well as I want it to. Reverse world, this is a freak crawl space. Yeah, I mean, if we had like tough love and that was it, I'd be like, dude, one luck is not sufficient. Jesus Christ, what is happening? So many rare occurrences and a school bag. And it's me! But considering we have such a high chance of different tier effects happening, this is working out great. A school bag? Absolutely. Do we want BFFs? Sure. I'm here to bless the run. If I get a gold pill, I'd love to take it. I might just take it with me for now. Until, like, something better shows up. We'll blow up a keeper, uh, and then let's go explore the rest of the floor. Jesus. At this point, just drop the gold memory card, man. I'll be taking it. Actually, balls. Ah, oh, hell yeah, man. That is sick nasty. I have restock. I don't know what this really means for me, but I, I also got a full set of pretty fly. I could do something absolutely crazy and nuts and like buy 7 billion different cards here and try and restock this. This is not exactly a good strategy, but I don't really have much else to spend my money on, so whatever. Uh, I got another pretty fly. I'll do it one other time. I don't think, exactly think this is the god route we should be going on. Yeah, no. Already found our boss for the floor. Uh, yeah, let's go inside of it. I'm just curious, it's just the gate, and we can see our damage is really good. Despite us really not having the most DPS ever, in terms of items, we've just buffed ourselves from pickups, like tears ups and such. So I actually feel really powerful here. Now the best thing that could ever happen to you while you're using like the D20, is you go all the way to the chest slash dark room, and you find Greed in there. And he drops a bunch of coins, and you press spacebar, and they all turn into chests, and you're like, well, I'm the richest man alive. Will this happen to me specifically? Probably not, but it can. I also have a bunch of soul hearts to spend here, so let's do it. Oh wow, that paid out fast. Okay, sick. Thank you, bye. <laughs> Here we go, Necropolis 2. Uh, let's see what's cooking. Have you guys seen my range? It's a little bit too high. <laughs> this is a forgotten range moment for real, for real. All right, next treasure room, Rotten Tomato, another lug-based item. And I'm really not too mad to see it. Also, it tears up his sick nasty with it. Curse room! Surely this one will cook. I actually pooted it out of its area. I didn't even need to bomb it, but it didn't give me anything. Oh my god, I just got trolled. <laughs> I have to walk out with the Forgotten in order to get out here. I mean, I guess I could have done the entire rest of the floor as the soul, but you know, it's about principle at that point. It's about power we devour. Oh, uh, matchstick, whatever. I mean, look at my pickups, man. Watch this as greed. Oh, it's not. It surely is not. You have caught me by surprise. In fact, it's a restock. I'll buy this and, and also this, and then, eh, nah, it's a little too late. Member card, maybe though? I'd take a member card even this late. Oh, charged baby is good for the future. And there it is. How, how does he do it? How does he know? And then simply Sacred Hearts right here. Not the case, but uh, kind of close. It, we can make it happen. We just got to restock a little bit. Come on, baby. I'll also risk a Soul of Cain here. I'm sure I can guess it. Every single time we're buying something, we get Balls proc, which is so nasty for us. If I'm basing off of what I've seen so far, the only logical place that the Ultra Secret could be is like here, but this is probably a bad choice. It sure as hell was. Uh, oh freaking well. I I really shouldn't take a range up, but I will. <laughs> I was also okay with this being like a, a bit of a guess because this lets us go to the boss challenge room. And the boss challenge room gives us a tears up again. Nice. And we do need tears up. Look, I can finally shoot more than like once per two years. Life is finally worth living again. I'm feeling like ego from Ratatouille. All right, let's go back to rerolling. Maybe something godly appears. Uh, definitely not those ones though. So, oh. <laughs> All right, you really want me to get this old just secret, don't you? Let me clear out the rest of the floor so I can get a better lay of the the lay, the lay of the floor, the lay of the what do the people say? The lay of the land. Let me get a lay of the land. Well, I I got a lay of the land. It only took a two extra seconds. Now, what? Where is this thing? The only place that I could guess that is like, oh, it's totally right here has to be like here. There, okay, all right, all right, that makes sense. I was about to freak out if this wasn't it, dude. And Dark Arts is useless. Funnily enough, the best thing about this Ultra Secret is all these key blocks. Maybe it gives- Oh! It gives me money? <laughs> Therefore, paying for the Soul of Cain tenfold. That way I can pay for the restock, and that way I get even more? What a weird rigging run have we come across today. I'm so down for it. This is so unique. At some point, you're gonna have to give me a god item. There's only so much I can rig the game before you gotta be like, dude, he's definitely tried hard enough. Oh, that's really good. Boom. Mongo baby. Hey, that's conjoined! That's really good. We got the nuclear throne shovel gameplay now. Big fan of that. This is about to explode. 
and it explodes into nothing. Hey, at least we're draining the pool of a bunch of different items, you know? Battery's incredible. I'd love to, like, give this for us. Wait, I can get the secret room. Secret room has money? Maybe. I'd love a battery. Absolutely. That's super good for us. I just need three more cents? Is three cents feasible? I've kind of done everything on the floor. Hmm. It's a shot in the dark. Whoa, my goodness. A Yera? <laughs> I was gonna d20 these pickups, but it's looking ever more likely that this could actually work out. Let's Yera this. Get another d6. We can use this on the Ultra. Well, Blamo. Oh, no way. Okay. <laughs> I see the vision. I see it. I see it. I. Oh my god, I see it. I see it. I see it. It's all coming together. Just give me three cents. There's no way you do that to me. There's no way you troll me like that. I'm actually mad at you. <laughs> That was highly disrespectful. I worked for that and you do that to me? I, I cannot believe it. Well, whatever, we got Echo Chamber out of this entire endeavor. Definitely, obviously the main reason they wanted me to do this. I can already foresee the future. And now we just gotta get all the way to the chest, speed run our way there, and I think we're good. Also, our damage is really good now because we're literally just doing triple damage. No stopping us now. I'm gonna take Polaroid today. Oh, hey, Satanic, how you doing? I'm gonna take... Uh, well, I'm gonna take money plus power to be honest with you. And now I'm gonna take Satanic and then switch back because I can actually take it with me because I have the school bag. One final check for the tinted rock. Uh, just some pickups. Let's go. Soul of Apollyon. Dude, they need to re record that line. I'm gonna say it every single time until it happens. Maybe I can get through to them. <laughs> it catches me off guard every single day. I play this game every day of my life, and every single time I find the solo Apollyon, I'm like chilling, and then the mic peaks, and then it's like, what the hell was that sound? I don't, what the, uh, my immersion is broken. That's not to say that I have the best mic quality ever, okay? But this is a video game, it's different. You, you gotta re record that, guys. It's, it's taking me out of the experience <laughs> for real. Of course, the run where I get the lazy worm is the run where i gotta like rig myself to win it happens every single time i cannot i'm not making it up i swear to god dude it's an actual phenomenon at this point i didn't believe it but with how many times you guys tell me this happens to you and me like i i have to like think something's happening at this point maybe like some secret update happened tears up just because it plays the sound and i like the sound uh, and then let's go. Headless baby! We have conjoined, no thanks, and triple red chest. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, freaking yes? Absolutely? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see the vision already. This is, we break the game immediately. We have magic skin and potentially infinite pickups with echo chamber dice shard. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to be able to tell that something is about to go crazy right now. Okay, it lives, we'll die instantly to my flies. We don't get another deal and that's okay. We just want to go up and find the secret room as soon as possible. Might as well check this out just because we can. I have to play the soul because I left my body in the skull room. I don't think I've ever called the curse room a skull room in my life, but you know, sometimes you unlock a new part of your mental brain and you're never really going to know where that came from. And neither do I. Why did I call that a skull room? <laughs> New look into Isaac 2, new room just leaked, a skull room just dropped. Uh, yeah, but if I had left, uh, then I would have lost my, my bone heart, you see. Well, that's okay, as long as we go to the next floor, then the body will regain us. We got the red heart necessary, so let's just go. Here is the big stuff. Let's open up, maybe we get some good stuff. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> If it bombs, kind of. Extra little bit of damage, kind of. I don't know how we have 25 base damage. It does not feel like it. The only thing that matters at this point, though, is we gotta find the secret room ASAP. The sooner, the better. Random chest because of Death List gives us Parasite! Don't sleep on my boy Death List, guys. I'm telling you, this thing is hype as hell. Did I really not find a secret room up until this point? That kind of sucks. Oh, man. There it is. Okay, okay, okay. That's not bad. Not the earliest, but definitely not the latest. Anything in here, there is actually an item. There's multiple. No greed fight, but there are multiple pickups. Very good. Open this. At break. Get me though. Was there an act? There was an active item. Okay, hold on. Let's let's do this correctly. Let's transfer you and plop you in here. And then switch you out. Just for the culture, I'm gonna keep this with me. Let's start rolling. Uh definitely a terrible reroll. But it's not gonna be the end of it. Uh well, I should probably use the magic skin in there immediately huh yeah let's not hold off on that let's just send it right now well blambo mega mush hey if i get rock bottom that's great the more pedestals we get here the better you gotta remember we're basically guaranteed a, a maximum of almost like three rerolls here more chest little chad 
As well as the more items, the better. Just because we won't be seeing these items in here. Reroll. No chest. It's looking like the chest D20 thing is like not too useful. At this point, I might put like uh, more focus on trying to... Wow, what a beautiful run as the soul. I like it way more than the body. Yeah, I think I'm going to put more focus into finding pickups and such like pills. So we can proc the, the D20 over and over again from the dice shard echo chamber moment. So with that, let's just send it, I think. I mean, we can still get pickups because it is a D20 dice shard. Uh, yeah, let's, just, let's, just, let's just do it. Sausage, TM trainer. You're joking me if you think I'm doing that. <laughs> How about we use the question mark card? Ep oh! Epic Fetus is in there. Is Epic Fetus what we want though? Eh, I don't know. I feel like I can just get more if I just keep trying. Oh! There it is. We did it. Okay. Uh, we're good. That's it. GG. Now we simply take this telepills. Hope to god we don't error room. It, actually, I think even if you error room, you just get taken back to the chest, so it's okay. So do this. I saw that certificate for like one frame. I, I surely did. I saw it. It was right there. And now I am a happy camper. There it is. Yeah, there's all the good stuff. I mean, I could even Arky if I wanted to. <laughs> for anyone that did not believe that I could rig this run, there you go. It's as simple as that. Um, Take a dead cat, by the way, because I don't want to die. Rock bottom time. Might as well take the D6. And then uh, keep the magic skin, actually, so we stop doing that. Oh, well. Belly jelly time. Miter. And then let's uh, straight up forget me now. I could try taking the eternal D6 with me. If I can do it, I could not. But whatever. You know, we got rerolls anyway from, you know, Glitch Crown. So it's basically done, so. Monstro. Lusty blood. Almond milk. Rubber cement. That is the good stuff. Now let's just go speedrun our way to the boss. Because I achieved what I wanted to achieve. Which was just freaking rig the game. God damn it, I got the glitch crown bug. <laughs> Although I did get smoked on the whole, you know, showcase the cool sprites aspect things of things. To be fair, that's easily fixed with a little bit of smidge of editing. Throwing a little spice in there for you guys. What I achieved today was far more satisfying. Rigging the game in my favor and getting any item we could possibly want. And that should be it. I hope you guys liked the semi kind of vanilla run today. You know, there was no actual mods on. It was just resprites and I was able to rig the game. And I hope you enjoyed. That's it. GG.